Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Lego Kingdom 62. And today I'm going to be showing you guys um, a lightning jet rebuild, which is uh, Jay's lightning mech. Well, my opinion, this is a really cool build. We had a bunch of spare parts left over, but um, we used them on this little shark vehicle and that um, generator for the lightning jet. So, yeah, and the generator gives something for Ed and Ed not to work on, and also charges up um, Jay's mech while it's not in use. So, um, yeah, this is based off the fire mech, as you can tell. It's really, really similar to it. It has hands that shoot stuff. Instead of rackle hands, the feet don't have knee joints. Um, or well, I don't think the fire mech has knee joints. The, um, the cockpit is really similar, except it lifts up the other way. Like, it lifts up, up instead of down. It has a uh, shoulder pad, just like the F1 it has double shoulder pads, actually. But um, one of the other one has um, lightning, uh, one of them has lightning stuff on it to attract electricity, just like on these lightning cat. Um, and that's the flags, and so yeah, uh, we're all, I, was, I did a bit of reviewing it, but let's just uh, get into reviewing okay. um, here. So first we're going to review the actual mech itself. As you can see, or you, probably, you might not be able to see what day is in there. Um, I don't really want to take them out because this is a really delicate uh, build. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll just I'll get a bit closer. Just going to get a little bit of close up here. Um, so, here's the cockpit area. You can kind of see Jay's face there. Um, the cockpit's pretty simple. It's just like the round um, cockpit thing that I was on the lightning jet, and it lifts up like that. You can see Jay in there, and to get him out, you got actually uh, oops, kind of broke. But this is supposed to be able to bend. Okay, I guess it doesn't. But you can just take that off, and actually, there's an easier way. So I'm gonna do that instead. Okay, so. A way that you could do it is um, this roof here actually comes off, like the roof sort of thing, <coughs> like that. Then what you could do is um, just pop up, just pop out like that. Let's take them out, and then yeah, and put them. If you want to put them back in, what you could do is um, so get them in like a sitting form like that. Um, put that down, place the gay right there, and then just push that back. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna review this little roof part. So it's pretty simple, it's just like the cockpit with these two gear parts, and then a bunch of blue all over it. It's kind of similar as to how the fire mech has like that big round thing coming out over here. That's, I kind of did that with this. And, um, yeah. In the cockpit area like this, as you can see, um, there's gay right there. I'm just gonna focus it more. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm just gonna take a couple of stuff off the stack of what I'm saying this on. Okay, so as you can see, there's the controls here, and there's like a little pad there. The controls will control, like, obviously, how the mech moves its legs and arms and then the control panels and there's like shooting and electricity stuff. And we also have like the flags that Kai's fire mech has, except the bottom ones have a bit of printing or stickers on them. Top ones don't. Um, yeah, the cockpit's not very much. It's pretty cool design on the inside. You can't really see it because it's mostly black. And um, yeah. So then, you see down there, there's like some grill tiles and a lot of blue and dark gray. I feel like this uh, room is going by really slow. Well, anyways, as you can see the arms here, the shoulder pads have a pretty complicated design. If you just, that kind of looks complicated, it's not that complicated actually. Um, you can see there's some joints here, particularly joints, 
I had to keep those in by using some axles because they would keep falling off because they're not really stuck to anything except for the back part there. And um, yeah. So uh, now we can go to the arms. So the arms is, are the last thing that we made besides the hands. Um, and we just use that shoulder pad and attach it so it's not that good. It's not as good as we hoped, but that doesn't mean it's not good. It's still pretty good. There's a place to hold the uh, carriage flail. Um, I think that's what it's called. Oh, okay. So that's the arm. And you can see here's the cannon arm. Yeah, it's just like a simple cannon. It's kind of falling off right now. I'm just gonna. There you go. Step back on. Um, it's just like a regular cannon. Fire is. I'm just gonna fire it at the ground. Oops. And it goes back pretty far. Almost as far as I can go. And then you see this little control panel on the side. I don't know why that's there, that's like, you know, this case. And then, yeah. Uh, here is the other arm. This one has like a cord going from the arm to the hand. The hand has one of those, um, nozzle, not nozzle, but, um, kind of siren pieces. <sighs> that. And the cord goes into the hand to, to bring electricity into the hand. Because that's this electricity rock shooter. And it's only double studs because, um, I just like to put double studs on stud shooters because, um, that way I don't lose the extra studs. So those are actually supposed to be just one stud, but, uh, I don't, didn't want to lose the extra studs, so I just did that. You can see there's a bunch of electricity that that brings in. It gets stored in there until it's shot out. And then I can move the legs. That's kind of dark. Um, so, the legs have the printing of the big tail thingies on the, well, kind of like the side things on the link set. And, um, now the kind of is in the cam, make it kind of like a man almost. Then it has like a design on the inside here, outside, same as the front. Um, that's the attack to the waist with articulated joints, because it's like the only kind of thing that comes in it. And then in the back of the legs, is it really anything special? Just like that. Yeah. And the attack and the feet make it very flimsy. It's easy to bend like that. So we try to make it, um, go forward. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to show you uh, the back of the body. So, let's so see, here's the back of the body. It's just like this big dish, which I'll show you what it does after. And you see there's two long poles, that one of them hold up the flag, one of them is just there. And black is, the back is mostly black and blue with some light gray. And, um... Yeah, not really anything special here, besides this part, which I'll, in these parts, this part I'll show you with this later, as I said before, and, um, yeah, so, basically it, I'm just gonna spin this around, and put the lid back on, or the uh, top, the roof, whatever you want to call it, yeah, there you go. Um, so, Restack everything here. There you go. And that's the um, mech. So here's a crab vehicle, which is really, well, the Starcraft vehicle is really, really pathetic compared to the uh, Lightning mech. Um, so this stands no chance against the Lightning mech. Uh, it's a very weird build. You can see at the front there's a uh, crusty. And this controls there, and then these just two poles to keep them in safe. Um, there are these. Oops. I'm gonna say crusty up now. 
um, there's this big chomper thingy just like on the vehicle that was in the aqua set. Um, this is really, really delicate. Same with the lightning mech. But I was actually really, really lucky to get through that whole review without the lightning mech, even without the lightning mech falling over. So yeah, that was good. Um, and uh, as you can see, I did I did not get through this without this breaking. So it's real. It's not that great of a build. It's just like that. Uh, there's that flag at the back here, um, which I can't really. I don't really remember what it says. But yeah, I could. I have to kind of figure it out yet. I can. I can do that. Um. Oh yeah, I might I might tell you guys when we do the set review for this. Um like the set review for the lightning get not for this like, uh, uh, this rebuild because we're doing that right now. So as you can see there's like um a back crest here because our crest has to has to at the front because of um his tank. And there's as you can see there's a big cannon then the shark army thug or whatever sits in this chair and then there's this tank back here to hold all the water that the gun shoots out at the back it's just like a support thing Oops. It, it used to support a lot more but then I found a way to make the legs work and then as you can see that supports it and um yeah it's just big red uh, pole sticking through it but yeah besides that it's not really anything else so yeah, we should just move on to the generator.